uncharted region of a planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past to plan for the future. Okay, Jet, we're ready to test the materialization chamber. What's the test going to be, Captain? See that metal box on the view screen? Yes. Well, that box is in a steel vault in the engineering building. Now, if we can materialize it into the laboratory here, we'll know the chamber circuits are repaired. So, I'll set the location and bring up the power level. All set, sir. Stand by to materialize. Watch the thermal gauge. Bring up the current very slowly. Slower, Jet. Watch the thermal gauge. Decrease high compass. Flash over in Unit 5. Reset the circuit breaker and we'll try it again. Captain, yes? how could the box materialize and still be on the view screen? It can't. Well, look. Here it is. That isn't the same box, Jess. Well, where did it come from? I don't know. This is an old-time strong box. Ah, oh, nothing but a lot of old letters. Wait a minute. Look at the cancellation. The Central Overland, California, and Pikes Peak Express Company. Fort Bridger, Wyoming, October 24th, 1860. These letters are from the Pony Express. And they've never even been opened. Look at this. The ink on the cancellation mark is still wet. But... Yet, the short circuit in the materialization unit must have brought this box in direct from the Pony Express relay station at Fort Bridger. And somebody must have just stamped them in the year 1860. Right. We've got to get these letters back at once, Jet. Stand by to activate the time machine. Yes, sir. Set the location for Fort Bridger, Wyoming, in the United States, October 24th, 1860. Bring up the voltage to 7.813. Stand by to activate the trials. Micro. Yes, sir. Stand by for operation of the time machine. Nuclear reaction up 7.813. Chrysler output 9.331. Set the trillotron at 7.995. Ready, Jet? Ready, sir. Ready, electric chamber? Ready, sir. Stand by. Switch on. Activate the cycle reactor. Good. We're cracking the fourth dimension. Projecting back into time. 1950, 25, 1900. 
1890, 80, 70. We're going back. Stand by. 1860. Cut the psycho reactor and lock it. No power micro. Stand by. Activate the view screen. Now, the relay station was just outside of Fort Bridger, but I think we can pick it up all right. There's the eastbound rider from Salt Lake City. Man, look at him go. Will we have time to materialize the box to Fort Bridger? Sure, he has a long way to go yet. Now let's see if we can pick up that relay station. There it is. Refocus inside. Carnation, have to that strong box. Okay, Jeff, put the box in the chamber and stand by to dematerialize. Right. Stand by. There she goes. Stop. It'll materialize on the counter there in just a second. It's gone, that's all. Just plain gone. Be a monkey's uncle. The mail's here, all right. I wonder how the ink got smeared on the envelopes. Well, that does it, Jeff. I got the box back, all right. Yeah, but do you suppose? Captain, look at the window. Focus to the rear of the building, quickly. Okay, Slade, I can handle things here. You get on down the trail a couple of miles and take care of that express rider from Salt Lake. Right. You can get a good shot at him from that old Indian graveyard just above the trail. Okay. Stick a couple of arrows in him after you shoot him down. Just leave him in the road. The Indians will get the blame. Well, that's a good idea. And don't miss. Not a chance. Okay, get going. I'll meet you at Independence in two hours. Right. No Pony Express is going to ruin my stagecoach business. This will be easier than I thought. Morning, Jim. Account. It ain't morning yet. What are you doing up so early? Couldn't sleep. Why the gun? Kind of jumpy, aren't you? Maybe I got reason to be. Light, aren't they? I hear some of them weigh no more than half an ounce. Five dollars per half ounce. Pretty expensive kind of mail. Leave your hands off my gown. United States mail ain't to be touched by strangers. Okay, Jim. 
You've sure gotten to be big stuff since they put a gun in your hand. But don't forget, I was handling mail on my stage line before you would drive behind the ears. So bad you ain't handling it now. I'll be handling it again, kid, just as soon as the Pony Express folds up. Incidentally, uh, when's that eastbound rider doing here? In about seven minutes. What do you mean, as soon as the Pony Express folds up? Look at that bulletin, kid. Wanted. Young, skinny, wiry men, not over 18. Must be expert riders, good shots, and willing to face death daily. Orphans preferred. Fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars per month. Apply Central Overland Pony Express. Company. I can read. Maybe so, kid. But you're not reading between the lines. What do you mean by that? And quite a few riders lost on this line, you know. Indians got them. Going to be more lost. Several relay stations have been wrecked too. Nobody's going to want to ride for the Pony Gem. It's too dangerous. The Indians don't like your riders pounding through their hunting ground. Well, I suppose you think they like your stagecoaches better. My line runs south of Indian country. Yeah. And it's hundreds of miles longer and about a third as fast. Listen, McGowan, the Pony Express is going to prove to the whole country that the Central Route is by far the best and fastest for overland travel. Yeah. The Pony Express isn't going to last long enough to prove anything, kid. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me none if your eastbound rider didn't get in here at all. What are you driving at? Indians, kid. Shoshone Indian. Look, McGowan, the express has been going through here since April 3rd. Twice a week, rain or shine. The Indians around here haven't given us any trouble so far. Why should they start now? There's no account for Indians, kid. And there's no account for some white folks either. Watch it, McGowan. You're sure jumpy, kid. That eastbound rider's got just five minutes if he's going to be here on schedule. He'll be on schedule, all right. The Pony Express always brings the mail through. Engines or no? Maybe. What's the matter, kid? Does talking about Indians make you nervous? What do you mean? Why don't you put away that gun? Yeah. I guess that's just exactly what you'd like me to do. What are you talking about? I'm used to having strangers hanging around here before dawn. You know, I'm no stranger, kid. You ain't exactly no special friend, neither. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking I might hire you to ride stage for me after the ponies washed up. How about it, kid? Less work, same pay. And a lot less dangerous. No, thanks. I ain't working for the likes of you, McGowan. And the Pony Express ain't gonna be washed up. This central overland route may be shorter, kid, but it's a losing proposition. 
And the pony may be fast. Just but... 10 days clear across country, to be exact. The coach route takes 27 to 30 days at best. And our pony express riders make 250 miles a day by this route. The stagecoach is lucky to average 85. Like I was saying, kid, the pony may be fast, but the fees are too high. Even at that, it's losing money every day. You can't carry enough on one horse, kid. 20 pounds maximum just won't pay. Maybe not. But the Pony Express is going to prove to the U.S. Postal Authorities that the Central Overland Route is a lot better than the Southern Route. No. It's too dangerous, Jim. Look. The first rider starts out here at Sacramento and ends up at Placerville. Now, that stretch isn't so bad. Then other riders have to relay the mail across the Sierras to Carson City. Lots of snow there in the wintertime, Jim. Forty feet deep. Remember the Donna party? No, you're too young. They froze to death. Those that didn't died of starvation. A rider would have to be mighty lucky to get across the Sierras at all in the wintertime, let alone keep a schedule. That's where you're wrong, McGowan. That trail is kept open all winter long by mule and pack trains Going through here and from here to the Washoe Mines. Maybe so, kid. But that won't stop the snow on the rest of the route, or the blizzards, or the Indians. And it gets mighty lonely from Carson City through Ruby Valley and Egan Canyon to Salt Lake. Then from here through South Pass to Julesburg is Indian country. Mean Indian country. It's over 2,000 miles from Sacramento, California to St. Joseph, Missouri. Over the most dangerous trails in the country. The Pony Express isn't going to prove anything, Jim. Except that your central cross-country route just won't work. Get your hand out of your coat, McGowan. Slow like. What's the matter, kid? Can a man mop his brow? Incidentally, uh... Where's that eastbound rider of yours? I'd hate to think the Shoshone Indians got him. He's still got three minutes yet. And I'm half as concerned about engines as I am about some white men. You got me all wrong, kid. Maybe. rider's gonna make it, Jim. No? No. In fact, you might find him on the trail with an arrow in his back. Like I say, uh, there's a rumor around that the Shoshones are going on the warpath. I ain't heard it. I get around more than you do, kid. Maybe you get around too much. What do you mean? Maybe you've been getting over to the Shoshone camp yourself. Why, you young... Get back, McGowan! What are you doing hanging around here anyway? Your stagecoach lines are never going to get the mail business back, and there's nothing you can do about it. No? And you better get down the trail and find out what happened to that eastbound rider of yours. Don't move, kid. I'm warning you now. Back up. Back up. That's you dirty low-down skunk. Flattery will get you nowhere, Jim. I asked you to come to work for me, and I'm a patient man. But there's an end to everything. And that includes the Pony Express. Only now, you're gonna end right with it. You'll never get away with it, McGowan. The express rider will be through any minute, and the people will be coming in after their mail. There isn't gonna be any mail this trip, kid. And no express rider either. In fact, there isn't even gonna be a station. And by this time next month, every station between here and California will be leveled to the ground. You dirty rat. You don't care who you hurt as long as you get the mail back to your stages. That's right, kid. And your turn's next. Now turn around. Turn around, I said. Chamber. Yes, Hurry. Sir. Throw the switch. Inspector 
wave condensers are opening. He's transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to dematerialize. There he goes. He's gone. Golly, I hope he made it all right. of the Transcontinental Telegraph Line on October the 7th, 1861. Exactly 19 months. 19 months? That certainly wasn't very long. The Pony Express was fast, Jess, but it couldn't compete with the telegraph. However, it did prove the superiority of the Central Overland Route, and in so doing, it marked the path for the first Transcontinental Railroad. The Pony Express was a loss to its backers, Jess, but a great success from the standpoint of the United States. you can become a commissioned officer of the Zero Explorers in Time and Space and receive an official space passport and identification card. This passport entitles you to travel in accredited spaceships to any planet in our solar system. It also contains my official signature and photograph, as well as regulations for space travel and procedure for rocket ship blast-off. Just send your name and address to me, Captain Zero, in care of this station. Your letter will be forwarded to my laboratory by guided missile, and I will immediately send you your official space passport and identification card. So, till we meet again, fellow Z-men, good luck in time and space. Be sure to be standing by when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth, where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and space.